Well, hello there. In this video, we'll look at how we can incorporate a rich text editor for our web application. And the building such a such a very comprehensive text text editor is a relatively um, complex task, and it takes a lot of hours. So, in this particular uh, example, we won't be building ourselves, but we'll be using a third-party rich text editor. So, to do so. Uh, I would like to introduce you to this CK editor and CK editor is one of the best text editors we have at the moment and they're free they're free to use and I usually stick to let's go to downloads usually stick to the standard one but if you want the full package you can have the full package and you just download it and once it's downloaded It's free to use for per, uh, for personal uh, applications, any applications for personal use, but for commercial applications, uh, I'm sure you have to buy. And of course, you'll get a lot more functionality if you decide to decide to buy. Now, we, we've downloaded this editor, and we'll open up. And what we'll do is basically, uh, it's a little bit uh, hard to see. Let's go back here. My homestead is complaining. I'm just trying to see what's going on here. It looks like it's already running. So we'll CD into our app. Like so. And then let's just see what we have here. So that's my terminal that's the browser and stuff so here we have so we've, we've downloaded CK editor 2 so we'll just copy this whole thing just copy that and we'll go inside our application in the public folder and in the public folder here some way we can create a new directory called CK editor CK editor and just paste everything in there so once you come back to the terminal or you can come back to terminal here you'll see there is a CD so we've got here CK editor and if you if you go inside that you'll notice it's got a couple of folders it's got a um, CK editor.js and that's the file we'll be uh, really using and everything else the user interface comes from the contents and skins and we won't be touching anything because it's already been uh, built for us now the next thing is to incorporate that in our style sheet so the best way to do so is open up the uh, let's just say new mail send new mail uh, PHP and somewhere here we've got a text area that's our text area and it's got some class the class is form control all you have to do is include CK editor class so next thing we need to do is include our uh, JavaScript file and that's our next step open up the uh, public folder and just include the CK editor CK editor.js so it's extending welcome so we'll open that and here we're gonna ex we're gonna include it so just copy this down and right now we have CK editor, CK editor.js, not CSS. So I'm just going to get rid of this. Um, somewhere here, down in the bottom. So I'm going to say, let's say here. Um, we can say, we don't need to say public because it knows it's, so it's serving from public. So CK editor slash CK editor.js. And hopefully now we will see CK editor in action and it does work so this is how you incorporate really quickly a rich text editor for your web app and um, you can go with the standard version you can go with the full package in this video we'll, we'll just go ahead with the full package that just gives more control to the user How, however I mean we won't be editing or creating um, so many different documents in the next video we'll start working with the core functionality of our application which is going to be sending an email on how to configure your mail servers 
in your application and how to um, how to get started with sending an email and getting a response status 200 code so we can we can successfully send an email and after that we'll build some email templates so we can you know we can target different devices and stuff like that so yeah i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching have a nice one